Hey everybody, it's uh, Monday afternoon, uh, another gorgeous day for a change. Uh, it's mostly, I don't know, mostly cloudy. There's some sun poking through, some sun poking through right now. It's in the 70s, um, lots of clouds moving over, so I may disappear in the shade here after a while, but um, I, was in the, I was in the mood for a goose, so I'm going to do one I picked up uh, a few weeks back on one of my out-of-town trips from a brewery in Belgium. I'm going to do the Oud Goose from Tilquin. Tilkin, Tilquin, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I'm sure somebody can correct me on that. Um, a style I've had a few of. I'm really getting to like. So, um, first of all, I'm going to read. I went to their website. Um, now, this is courtesy. It's sort of garbled because it's courtesy of uh, uh, Google Translate. But it says, Beer Gaze installed in the Valley of the Seine. The Goosery Tilquin is the only Goosery Wallonia. A Goosery or Goose. Gouzet Courage in Dutch is a company of cutting the old goose or oud goose. Musts freshly brewed are purchased from different producers in the region. Payotten land in Brussels and put in oak barrels for a period of one year, two year, or three years. The lambic obtained are assembled and bottled to give after six months of fermentation. Goose token the old, which is as 6.4% alcohol by volume and is sold in bottles of 75 centiliters and 37.5 um, this one is six percent um, anyway uh, now a little bit from uh, from the bottle itself um, it says oud goose token a la ancien six percent alcohol by volume is a spontaneous fermentation beer produced from the blending of one two and three years old lambics it is unfiltered and un unpasteurized and re-fermented in the bottle for at least six months. The lambics used were fermented and oak-aged in our installations. These lambics are coming from warts brewed by Boone, Lindemans, Gerarden, and Cantillon breweries. So, four different breweries, um, three different years of fermentation. Got a nice little uh, Cajun cork on the bottle, so let me uh, get this off. I hope it doesn't explode. I didn't bring anything to it's gonna explode that's for sure I'm gonna get my glass here right ready nice pop ton of smoke yeah didn't 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 flow them over good deal the only thing I don't like are the green bottles but beer like this that skunkiness you get from from green bottles is not gonna be so bad not nearly as noticeable let me get this in the glass a little bit left in there. I'll probably add that after I do my initial uh, taste. We got a nice golden yellow kind of cloudy semi-hazy body there. Uh, moderate amount of carbonation streaming up. Got a really frothy looking uh, pinky of a slightly, slightly off-white head. Mostly white, I think. Uh, nice looking beer, so let me give it a taste. Uh, nose. Oh wow, yeah. Now this this is nice. It's it, it's really funky. You can get that definitely get that funkiness in there. Um, there's some strong lemons, some hay. Definitely got that. Uh, I don't know if they've got uh, bread in it or not, but there's that really nice uh, wild yeast character coming through. You can tell it's going to be going to be pretty tart. Um, there's lemon tartness, but a lot of that, a lot of that funk. There may be just a bit of pepper in the background maybe some grapefruit almost a a cider note um, some ample funkiness a um, little I like a fruity oak character from from that uh, barrel aging for sure I'm sure um, got some nice uh, woody spicy notes maybe even just a hit of clove in there there's a it's a it's a fruity smelling beer though but kind of uh, sour and vinegary um, just a hint of some graininess. Uh, really nice smelling beer, so let me give it a taste. Oh yeah, now that's sour. That's really sour. Really tart. Got a nice, um, nice strong citrus acidity. Um, starts out with a that 
big sour kick um, um, and then slowly uh, slowly that that funk kicks in there got that green apple taste um, that really tart green apple taste um, nice citrus taste make uh, a little touch of that vanilla oak sweetness in there but it's mostly uh, mostly tart the finish is dry it, it lingers for a little while not nearly as much um, funk on the taste as on the nose but good taste in beer uh, seems like a medium carb carbonation uh, hold on Eh, sorry about that. Uh, it's, I'm right out here on the 19th hole of the uh, disc, disc slash frisbee golf course. Um, had some golfers coming through. They were, they were. I could tell from distance they were making some noise. So let them go through. Anyway, back to the mouthfeel. Um, medium carbonation. Uh, really uh, light body, but a really creamy taste. Uh, really dry finish um, almost um, I don't know this is almost pretty pretty close to flawless for the style so let me sit I'll add the rest of this to the uh, to the glass and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade okay I'm back it's been 20 minutes half an hour or so I just been I added the rest of it and just been sipping on this this is a really really gorgeous beer um, this is a bottle conditioned beer, so um, when I added the, the final bit and I swirled it up, uh, got a good deal of cloudiness to it. Got a, got a good head, which um, dissipated. It's leaving a little lacing now, but uh, not a ton. It's a really light lacing that goes away quickly. Um, I noticed as it warmed up, the uh, the sourness has, has abated just a bit. Uh, and the funkiness has really, really come out. I think this is more of a, a funk forward goose than a than a than a sour. Um, although there there is still a lot of sourness there. I mean, this is um, this is damn near a perfect beer. In fact, for a goose, I think it is a perfect beer. So I'm going to give the Tilquin Token, however it's pronounced, Wainchien Ood Goose. I'm going to give this a good solid uh, 10 out of 10. Damn good beer. If you like a goose or like a sour, um, well worth a try. I've never had it before. Uh, I will pick it up again, that's for sure. So 10 out of 10 for the Tilquin Oud Goose. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.